Hello, my most amazing artist. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. I'm really excited because today we are making these really cool pop out dinosaur puppets. So the reason I call it a puppet is because you can actually move it. Sometimes this one's stuck a little bit. Let's try this guy and get your dino to shimmy down and pop right out of your egg. So this is what we'll be working on today. You're going to need simple supplies like construction paper if you have it, white paper is totally fine, scissors, glue, crayons, markers, and maybe some sort of piece of cardboard. If you don't have a piece of cardboard, a ruler would work great, popsicle stick is awesome, or even something like a pencil works great too. Let's do our art class catchphrase. I make messes. I make mistakes, but deep inside, I got what it takes. I am an artist. Big shout out to our sponsors. That would be Dixon Ticonderoga, the maker of the construction paper I'll be using today, which is True Ray, my absolute favorite. Thank you so much, Dixon Ticonderoga, for always providing me with the best art supplies to use to teach art class with Cassie. And a shout out to our other sponsor, Art to Remember. Did you know that you can take photos with your phone of your artwork or your child's artwork and upload it onto their free digital gallery, creating a gallery of your child's artwork or of your own. Once it's online, then it can be printed onto things like shirts and coffee cups and calendars and so much more. So thank you, Art to Remember, for sponsoring and providing such a really cool thing for artists and family. Okay, guys, I'm ready to get started. Grab those supplies I mentioned, but before you do, let's do our pinky promise. <clears throat> I pinky promise to do my very best to be patient with myself and to keep a positive attitude. Mwah! All right, time to crack some dino eggs, guys. All right, guys, today we're going to be making dinosaur eggs. And I kind of like to call these puppets because you can move and manipulate them and have them tell a story. So your little dino egg will have a baby dinosaur that pops out from inside. Now, I've made a lot of these eggs and I've learned quite a bit from making them. One thing I learned is that if you draw your dinosaur a little big, then it won't go completely down inside of your egg. For me, I think that's okay. I like that he's peeking out like this. However, if you want your dinosaur to really completely disappear into your egg, just know that you'll need to draw him or her a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna move these out of the way and let's talk about making the egg first. So I'm going to be using a piece of construction paper. If you have construction paper, awesome. If you don't have construction paper, it's fine too. You can always use white paper. I'll show you how to decorate it. Your first step is you're going to have your paper going horizontally. Once you've got your paper horizontal, go ahead and take the left side of your paper and walk it over to the right. So I'm taking the left side of my paper, walk it over to the right, take your hand and hold those two pieces of paper together. With this hand, smooth out the bump. All right, now I have folded my paper in half. I'm going to be folding my paper in half because if I take this apart, you'll see that this is actually two eggs. There is a broken egg, the one that's in front, and then there is a whole egg, the one that's in the back. So the reason I have my paper folded is because I'm going to be making a front broken egg and a full egg in the back. Let's work on drawing that egg shape. The shape of an egg is unlike any other shape. It's got the bottom of a circle. It's round like a circle at the bottom, but at the top it's more rounded and has an arch to it like an oval. So it's a circle meets an oval. So to draw that, I'm going to begin at the bottom and watch my finger. I'm going back and forth, making a big arched line. 
big arch line that sweeps from one side of my paper to the other. If I were you, I'd practice that nice big arch. Draw it with your finger a couple of times first before you draw it with your marker or pencil. That's the bottom of my egg. Now we need to decide on the top of your egg. I don't want it to come up and down like an angle. That's not the shape of an egg. It comes up, it goes over, and it comes back down. It's like a tall rainbow. It has a tall rainbow arch. So starting here, I'll go up. You might want to practice doing a little bit of air drawing with your finger first. Bring it on over and then curve it back down. There we go. Now that I've got my egg shape, I can go ahead and decorate it. If you have white paper, if you have white paper and you don't have construction paper, now's the time where you can make your paper look a little bit more interesting. You know, nobody really knows what dinosaur eggs look like. It's kind of a mystery. So you get to take some artistic license. You get to decide what you want your dino egg to look like. So I always draw a bunch of circles. Now, an egg is not flat. An egg is a form, meaning it's fat, it pops out of space. If you wanna show that it's popping out of space, you can do some shading. So I'm gonna shade by pressing pretty firmly around the edges, just like this, making kind of like a letter C. Now I pressed really hard to create a dark value. Whoops, sorry about that friends, I didn't mean to shake you. And now I'm going to go a little lighter, creating what's called a gradation. I'm going from dark to light gradually. Okay, now suddenly my egg went from flat to fat. It now has form. And if you had white paper, now you've got it decorated. Next up, let's crack our egg. When you crack your egg, you might wanna do it somewhere through the middle or near the top. And when I crack my egg, I use an uneven zigzag line. Think about how something might look if it were actually cracked. It wouldn't be a perfect zigzag line, it would be uneven. Keep both pieces of paper together as you cut. Notice how my left hand is doing all the work by rotating the paper for me. I'm cutting through both pieces of paper because my paper is folded. All right, now that I've got my egg cut out, you should have the front of your egg, boop, 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 and the back of your egg. Scoot the back of your egg out of the way and go ahead and cut on your cracked line. Okay, so I have to be honest, it's a little tricky to cut something like this, but here's a trick. Pivot your scissors. That means have your extra hand, ro stop cutting. Notice how I'm not cutting. Rotate the paper, now cut. Stop! Rotate or pivot. Every time I get to that crease, I stop and pivot my scissors. Okay, so now I have three pieces of paper. My back egg, the front bottom, and the front top. Now let's talk about how to draw a baby dinosaur. So I'm gonna draw two kinds of baby dinosaurs so that you can see. And I'm using a piece of white paper. You use whatever you want to use. I'm going to draw, um, I'm gonna go ahead and fold my paper in half because I'm trying to figure out the size of my dinosaur. If I draw my dinosaur as big as this piece of paper, it's gonna to be too big to fit inside my egg. So I'm looking to see if a half size will work. That might work. Maybe I should fold my paper again. That way I know exactly how big my dinosaur should be. So if you are trying to figure out how big to make your dinosaur, you might wanna fold your paper in half and then one more time. 
I'm unfolding now. And now I have four rectangles. One of these rectangles is where I will be drawing my dinosaur. The reason I folded that paper is to give me the right size for my dinosaur. Now when I draw, it's gonna be hard for you to see what I'm drawing if I draw my dinosaur really small. I'm also gonna be drawing two kinds of dinosaurs. I'll draw this guy and I'll draw this guy. So if you want to, you could draw both or you can just pick one or the other. So let's get started. When you're drawing your dinosaurs, you're going to want to maybe draw with a pencil first. It's up to you, but definitely watch me here. I'm gonna start with a curved line for where the eyes are sitting. So on this one, it's smaller, so I have to draw it a little smaller. Now I'm going to draw a bump and a bump. It's a little smaller, bump and a bump. Now I think I'll add my pupil so I can see, or my dinosaur can see. Oh, it's a little tougher because it's smaller in here, so I'll just color it in completely. Now I think I'll add the smile if I'm going too fast. You can just watch my instant replay here, or you could press the pause button. If you press the pause button, then you can catch up with me. So I added the smile, two nostrils. Okay, if you want to, you could leave it like this or you could open the mouth. Oops. Mama. I think this one, I'm just gonna leave the mouth closed. It's just gonna be like that. There we go. Now let's add the head. I'm making a curve that goes around the head but does not go to the other end of the line. Notice how I left a gap right there. So I'll try it again. Curve that goes around the head, but leave a gap right there. Boop. Okay, next step, I'm going to draw a line like this. Basically, I'm gonna draw an arch like a rainbow. So I'll draw one side of my rainbow here, and then I'll draw the other side of my rainbow there, and then I'm going to close it up. Okay, so I'll try that again. Arch, arch, close it up and now for my arms I'm just gonna make a couple of arms with two lines on each side connect boop, boop, boop. meow 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 and look to me this looks like a frog or maybe a duck you know you ducks do hatch from eggs so you could always make other creatures aside from dinosaurs popping out of your egg. You can even draw imaginary creatures. You should make a dragon. You could make all sorts of things. The possibilities are endless. The only thing that's limiting you is your imagination. So there's two letter U's and then a bump, bump, bump for the toes. Okay, that dinosaur is complete. Let's try this one. If you want to, you can just draw another one Pick your favorite. I'm starting with the eye, drawing it a little bit bigger. A curve for the eye. Now this dinosaur we're drawing right now, you only see the side of its face. You only see the side of its face. That's called a profile. So I drew an arch like a rainbow, a little curve inside, and then maybe a highlight. And if you want to get creative, uh, please, well, you should. Maybe some eyelashes, some eyebrows, anything you want. Okay, now I'm going to make an arch that goes over the eye. It's a rainbow that goes over the eye. All right, same thing here. Rainbow that goes over the eye. And then I'm going to make a line that makes a backwards letter J. Whoop. Then I'll make a line to make a backwards letter J. Whoop. Next step, let's work on the mouth. It's a line that goes in and then comes back out. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, it's so cute. So it goes in, whoop, comes back out. Maybe give it a little nostril so it can breathe. 
Uh, have you ever seen a cuter baby dinosaur? I don't think so. I'm gonna give it a little chin like this. Meow. Meow. Now let's work on the rest of the butter. I'm just going to make a straight line that comes down. Oops, wrong marker. Down and then back. That's one of the arms. Chinny chin chin, starting here, down, back. Am I going too fast? Hit that pause button, tell me to slow down. Go down, go down, go back, go back. It's like stair steps. Go up a little bit, go up a little bit, and then I'm just gonna connect these two hanging loose lines. See how they're hanging loose? Connect them. Ding! Oh, so cute. Now, if you wanted to add another leg, I don't really have room. I think this dinosaur is finished, and same with this guy. But if you wanted to add the other leg back there, you could. But on this one, I think it's perfect. I'm gonna give it some lines, and now I'm going to color them in and cut them out. When you color your dinosaurs, you can use any kind of art supply that you like. I'm going to use crayons for mine, and the colors that I'm picking out, I'm making sure they are not the same color as the egg. I'm using what's called a contrasting or a different color. The reason I'm doing a totally different color is so that my dinosaur really stands out, and it's a big surprise when it pops out of the egg. To make sure that you can really see my dinosaur, I'm pressing down pretty firmly with my crayon to create a dark value. That allows the dinosaur to really show up better as opposed to coloring lightly. But you know what? You could do whatever you wanna do. You are the artist. Markers, color pencils would work great too. When you're cutting your dinosaur out, I like to kind of release the dinosaur from the paper first and then cut a little bit more slowly and carefully around the edges. Remember to always have your scissors pointed away from you and have your extra hand do all of the work of rotating, that means turn, your paper. Okay, now that I've colored my dinosaurs and I've got it cut out, now I'm ready to assemble. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble my egg. So take the back part of the egg and take the bottom of the egg. You could use glue, you could use glue stick, or even tape, but I'm only putting glue on the lower side of the egg. I'm thinking about where does the side of this egg hit? So I'm only putting glue on the sides. Notice I didn't put any glue at the top, I didn't put any glue at the bottom, only on the sides before I match my egg back up and give it a Massage, massage, massage. Okay, that's all we have to do to the egg for now, so scoot that out of the way. Next up, we need to assemble these three parts. I'm assembling my cardboard. You could use a ruler, you could use a popsicle stick, anything that's long, even a pencil in a pinch. I'm going to put him about halfway down from his body, halfway down here. So I'm gonna put a little glue on my stick at the top. Just a little glue will do. And give it a massage, a little baby dinosaur massage. And then I have to put this on top of the head. So I don't wanna cover his head completely. I want him to be able to stick out a little bit. So think about that probably would not work for me. You're the artist, you're gonna to need to decide where's the best place for the egg to go and then put a little tiny bit of glue where you think that egg should go. Now, as you're putting this together, you probably realize you could do this with so many other creatures. So once you learn this technique, you can make all sorts of different egg kind of puppets. All right, moment of truth. Now I'm gonna take my stick, slide it down until it pops out that bottom opening and then shimmy my little baby dinosaur inside. <gasps> there he goes. And now look, if your dinosaur gets stuck or it doesn't quite fit, don't force it. That probably means it's just hung up on something or maybe your dinosaur's a little big like how I made some of mine too big. If it doesn't go down, don't force it, you'll tear it. Just leave it 
figure out what is too big, maybe pull it out like I did on this one. I should have probably trimmed these down a little bit. So you have to be a problem solver always in life, but especially in art. Think about, well, that didn't quite work. How can I fix it? So if yours is a little too big, just be patient as you lower it and think about what works. This guy, he's just gonna stay this size, but this one can disappear inside the egg completely and then I can have it go There he is, mama, mama. I hope you guys had so much fun making your cracked egg dino puppets. Remember, if it gets stuck, be gentle with it. You are so smart. You're a problem solver. I know you can figure it out. I hope you have so much fun making a whole assortment of dinosaur eggs. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe. New videos are coming your way all the time. Thanks for joining guys.